Hello sailors, you're watching the Dodger Kebab and this video is a first impressions video of not one, not two, but three PS4 games that I've tried out just the other day. Let's start with a nice simple racing game, MotoGP 14. Now, I love me a racing game, MotorStorm, Daytona USA or even Mario Kart. I love burning rubber more than an arsonist in a condom factory. But either I'm shit when I'm down to just two wheels instead of four, or this game is oversensitive. I just keep falling off. Here, here, here. Hell, even the goddamn starting line, I can't stay on the damn thing. Popping a wheelie may not have been the best thing I could have done, but that's the point of motorbikes, ain't it? People might say that I've missed the point, and that's how motorbikes control, and that this game is just very realistic. To those people, I say up yours. I'll be sticking to Road Rash on the Mega Drive, thank you very much. If I fall off playing this game, it's because something fun happened, like I got hit by a car or a chain wielding maniac put me on my ass. It won't be because I wanted to go as fast as I could, stayed on the track, but fell off anyway. The whole game looks and sounds the part, and I'm sure anyone that's got a massive hard on for guys in leather with big helmets will probably like this regardless. But anyone looking for an arcade style thrill game, you won't find them here. Alright, up next is PT, which stands for Playable Teaser, and basically the first look at the new Silent Hill game that's in production. So that this means I'm showing a teaser game in a first look video. INCEPTION! If you want a game that's going to require an entire palette of nappies on standby, then the upcoming Silent Hill might be for you. I say might because I still don't have any idea about what the final game's going to look like from what's been offered here. You walk around a hallway which keeps going round in circles. You think you've just gone down some stairs, then before you know it, you're going past the same scenery that you just walked past five seconds ago. Sometimes you'll walk around in a loop and then all of a sudden the pieces of the furniture are on a different side of the room or something's laid out differently. To be fair, this does generate a genuinely unsettling feeling which only increases the longer you play it. Doors will open, you'll hear a noise or a baby crying and the unsettling feeling soon changes to one of rising fear. You don't know what's going on. You don't know what's about to happen. You saw a weird baby thing in a basin earlier which freaked you out a bit and then the game locked you in the room with it and then the lights go out. Everything sounds a bit wrong. Soon, shit is fucked up. You're still trapped in this infinite loop and you're now getting frantic. All this is supposed to give an idea of where the game is heading. Will the final game be as shit scary as this? Nobody knows. This is only a very limited area and gives no real indication on the final game. Yes, this teaser is scary and if they can keep up this, then this could be a return to form for Silent Hill. This teaser earns them my attention when the game finally rolls around, but only my attention right now, not a pre-order. The last game on this video is called Blue Estate of all things, and is an on-rail shooter. And if you don't know what that means, think Virtua Cop, Time Crisis, House of the Dead. 
Some people don't like this style of game. I do. It's all well and good having a game that's an epic adventure, but it's also nice to have a crafted experience that leads you around and takes you on a nice ride. You control an on-screen crosshair by tilting the DualShock 4. You have reload and shoot map to the shoulder buttons. There's also a cover button, much like the one in Time Crisis, but you can only cover points of the game that it allows you to. As the player, you're also asked to use the touchpads to do things like flick your character's hair out of their eyes. Although I found this more of an, an annoyance than anything else. Anyway, so you're shooting guys as they appear. Many times a yellow highlighter will show up to show you which bad guys are the highest threat. So you need to pop those guys off first. There are power-ups scattered around the level, which will help you by grinding extra power, slow down time, that sort of thing. Sometimes these are just hanging around on screen, but other times they'll be hidden in destructible objects like a vase or a lucky cat statue. I don't think I really need to talk much more about this game as the footage pretty much sums up what the game is about. As a cheap digital game, I'd buy this and probably play it all the way over a weekend and then maybe come back to it every so often for a quick blast. Using the DualShock 4 is not as much fun as a proper light gun and by leaving out move support they've really missed a trick with this game but that omission aside it's fun enough and it's worth it if you can get it for under a tenner if you're not sure how much a tenner is well that's about two thousand US dollars anyway that's all from me see you later everyone